Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee. <sighs> Sunday Morning Coffee is actually a series I've done. Oh, wow. Some time ago, I started a Sunday Morning Coffee series. As you can imagine, you know, if you know anything about me, if you've watched any of my vlogging videos, you know that I like to drink coffee or tea in the morning. It's kind of a ritual. Good start to the day. And in, fa in fact, I have right now, I'm, I'm <clears throat> enjoying in my, one of my Graceland coffee mugs that one of my clients sent me. So thank you. You know who you are. Thank you for that. I have a couple of them. I also, of course, have a Prince one that I have <laughs> that I made for myself. And I actually have one that I got as a gift as well. So <laughs> oh, thinking of you as I'm starting the Sunday morning coffee series once again. We're rebooting it. So I thought this would be a great idea to have a podcast style format. Easy to record audios for me. It's really easy. It's a little more challenging during these times when everyone's home to do videos and to find a little space to do that. And so audio affords me more flexibility. And still I can connect with you and hopefully continue to inspire your spirit. If you watch on Above Life Channel Weekly, you know that I've been channeling celebrities for over, well over two years now, every week, at least one. Some weeks I've shared up to three videos at a time and it's been quite a ride right now at this time. I feel as though my efforts and energy should be focused elsewhere, specifically targeted zooming in on inspiring your spirit specifically by being me, by being Bridget, by being Bridget as a very insightful, empowering life coach, in addition to being a psychic medium, of course. And so all of me. So this is why I'm sharing with you now Sunday morning coffee with Bridget. Today's topic is noise, noise. Not sure if you can tell, but in the background, I'm actually standing outside and it's a very foggy morning. It's cool out, unusual in the summertime here. And it's very foggy, so everything's very wet. And sometimes it seems as though with this heavy, wet, air that we can hear the highway we're away from the highway we're we're off the beaten path a bit we're a bit rural like yet close enough to the highway so things are convenient and we quite enjoy that buffer and yet on really cold cold winter days when there's not a lot of foliage in the trees and it's crisp the air is really crisp and dense there is this hum of the highway. You can hear it very, very clearly. And now this morning, kind of surprising, like I'm shocked. I hear this noise. But in addition to the noise of the highway, the rumbling of the semis and such, I hear the birds. Can you hear the birds? There are many noises in our lives, many things that ugh, just become part of our ambient background noise. Things that we don't notice, in fact, until they're quiet. Oh, then you notice it's almost a deafening silence. Have you experienced that over the past few months? The other night we were walking in town and we could not believe how quiet it was. Everything was still. You didn't hear the kids running through the sprinklers, playing, hollering at each other, chasing each other around the house, throwing the football, swimming in the community pool, none of it. It was very, very quiet. And this was at six o'clock in the evening when people would be coming home from work and having dinner and maybe barbecuing and mowing their lawn. And it was just really quiet. And we've had several experiences like that in town when we've been walking. It's almost surreal. And yet at the same time, it's a welcome, a welcome change. 
think about all the ways that this concept of noise pertains to your life. Noise as in background noise, things you just get used to, routines you just fall into, habits, patterns, things that you do without even thinking about it just becomes part of the background, part of the daily grind, so to speak. And now when things start to slow down a bit or get less busy, at least for some, while others are very, very busy still in this time, there is a sharp contrast to where you are now, here now, and where we have been, where you have been, who you have been. the noise factor has shifted. You can't use noise as a distraction. You can't be distracted by the busyness of the noise in your mind. Aside from physical busyness and habits that you have, there is noise that comes from the mind. Reoccurring thought patterns that are not helpful thought patterns that question your value, your worthiness. Are you being lazy? Are you doing enough during this time? If you've been laid off work, why are you not in ultra fit shape? Why are you not one of those people on YouTube that's writing a novel right now? Don't you know? Don't you know? You're supposed to be doing X, Y, and Z and you're not. Therefore, your noisy head thoughts are telling you you're lazy. And I'm telling you, you're crazy. This is not a time for comparison. It's not even a time to compare your current self to your past self. And we do that constantly, consistently. We use judgment and evaluate our own lives based on where we thought we should be. The noise of what we thought our life should look like right here and right now. One thing we know is that change is constant. Everything is temporary. And guess what? It's always been that way. We just haven't noticed it because there's been so much noise in our physical environment, in our actions, in our patterns, and in our minds. We have not noticed. We have beat up ourselves and belittled ourselves whenever we have encountered change, because we consider change as something that's being done to us. Too often we feel like it's being done to us. We are the victim of change. We are suffering in our circumstances. And the truth of the matter is, there is always a different circumstance, a different situation right around the corner. We cannot control everyone in our lives or all the strangers we magically encounter on our paths. We can't control the government, we can't control our neighbors, and now is the time to recognize that none of that matters. None of that matters. Think about the last time you heard something so beautiful, so inspiring. What was that? What, what was it that you heard? Was it, oh, was it the grandkids laughing and giggling, playing a game on the living room floor in the other room? Was it, was it a song on the radio that was awesome? Was it a song that came on that Alexa playlist that you have that you forgot about and you were like, wow, that is good. That is some sweet music. Listen to those instruments. Listen to that vocals. Was it the sound of quiet on a walk in the evening? Was it the sound of the ocean on your daily jog along the beach? You like that? You like that? I said jog, you know, like making us all really fit. <laughs> Think about the good that is around you and surrounding you during this time. The subtle things. 
the noise that isn't so loud, that bland, blends in, that has blended in so much in the background. What about the noise then in your mind? Not just in the external environment, but your mind. What about the noise in your mind? What are the thoughts? Think of, give yourself the opportunity to choose to think of a good thought. When's the last time you thought to yourself, ooh, my, did I do a good job on that? Maybe it was an awesome dinner. Maybe you made the best smoothie in the history of the world. Like I should get an award for that. Maybe you cleaned up the kitchen. Maybe you vacuumed the stairway. Maybe you did awesome on a project. Maybe you turned in a paper that you know is stellar. Maybe you completed your thesis. Maybe you finally did your taxes. <laughs> Give yourself permission to create noise that is positive, inspiring, and uplifting. Like the cheers after someone blows out candles on a birthday cake, after you make your wish, and everybody claps. Like that kind of noise. That's the noise. That's the noise. That's the noise you should be tuning into. It's not loud. Noise doesn't have to be loud. It can be subtle. So besides the big celebrations and the good for you and the attaboy or girls, the positive boosts to your morale, let the subtle noises come to light. This is how you begin to recognize the inner voice within you and the wisdom that you have, the intuition that's guiding you, the wonderful support of the universe that you have that is completely on your side that you don't notice because it's always there. It's just noise in the background. Allow yourself the opportunity to be able to tune in to the different levels, the different degrees, the different ways in which the world is actually supporting you. And within you, tune into the ways that your thoughts and your mind is creating noise that distracts you or derails you and instead choose a different path. When the thought comes up that you're feeling lazy and you should be out exercising more or you should be doing something grandiose or fabulous or yeah you really should go to the grocery store that kind of a thing the shoulds the shoulds the shoulds the shoulds the shoulds when you get into that mode use awareness and shift your thought out of that and create a new path create a new way of thinking about that situation cut yourself some slack shift in if you have to make a deal with yourself say i'm gonna do that later or if it's something you have to do or if it's something that's super super big and you're like comparing yourself to somebody else call it like it is say it like it is crush the negative noise say it like it is this is not realistic for me this is like comparison this is me getting down on myself and this is not helping me have that conversation have it out loud make your own noise have that conversation have it out loud and crush the negative noise and then choose a new path choose something else to think about to focus on and if you need help with that get a positive input go read a book get an inspired go to go to your computer or your phone and look up something a positive quote on google it's not complicated. It is not complicated. You can create the noise for yourself. The kind that supports you. The kind that actually will help you. Create momentum for your life. Ah, noise, noise, noise. So this is Bridget. The sun is starting to peek out and some of the fogginess the mistiness is going away i think i'm going to head out on a walk myself by choice because i love that i love to walk helps me feel connected to nature it's something i highly recommend doesn't have to be a marathon just a little bit subtle connections are always good 
Thanks so much for listening to Sunday Morning Coffee. I hope you enjoy this podcast series that I'm sharing with you to keep your spirit inspired and to stay connected during these times. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great day.